Next here at five from concern for the immunosuppressed to questions about sulfa and the vaccines. Viewers just keep sending in questions through clickondetroit.com for our Dr. Frank McGeorge. Let's get out to Dr. McGeorge answering a fresh, fresh batch of questions starting with booster shots, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, so a viewer wants to know, how will we know when a booster vaccine will be needed? Is it going to be six months or a year? Well, the answer is right now, those studies are still being done in the first groups who were vaccinated. If the data ultimately shows that we do need a booster, you can expect an official recommendation from the FDA and, of course, widespread media coverage. Now, here are some more of your questions. Jim writes, I had a liver transplant 27 years ago and take immunosuppressants. I have had both of my COVID vaccine shots. On April 19th, my doctor had me tested for the COVID antibodies. The COVID vaccine did not work for me. I know why, but I'm wondering how many other people have been vaccinated and do not know if they have the antibodies. There is a growing body of data that shows being immune suppressed can decrease your response to the vaccines. We still recommend immune suppressed people get vaccinated, but because your response may be incomplete, until we learn more, we also recommend you maintain the same precautions you would if you were not vaccinated. A viewer asks, if you don't have a spleen, should you get the COVID vaccination? The answer is yes, you should still get vaccinated if you don't have a spleen. However, the spleen does play a role in your immune system, so it is possible the vaccine may not work as well for you. Still, any protection is better than no protection. Another viewer writes, My mother-in-law insists she cannot get vaccinated because she's allergic to sulfa. Her friends have told her that the vaccine is full of sulfa. Is this true? We told her she must get vaccinated if she wants to be near our son who has multiple health issues. There is no sulfa in the COVID vaccines, and having a sulfa allergy does not prevent someone from getting vaccinated. Now, finally, Suzanne writes, I had a mild case of COVID in November. I got a test telling me about my antibodies. The doctor said they were good. So it's just as good as getting the vaccine, right? Well, Suzanne, while having antibodies from a COVID infection provides protection for some time, we don't know exactly how long or how robust that protection is, especially if you only had a mild infection. It's still recommended that you get vaccinated because the vaccine will help boost your protection and likely extend the amount of time that it lasts. George, I have a question about the Delta variant. We've been hearing it's quickly spreading in the UK and it's also here in the US. Will the vaccines be able to hold that one back? Well, you know, Kim, vaccines will help, but frankly, only if we can get enough people vaccinated. And that's part of the urgency right now. The more people that remain unvaccinated, the more likely it is that the variant like the Delta one can gain enough of a foothold that a new surge might occur. Yeah. OK, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.